All right, so the one question that I get asked the most is, how do you get your first clients? And that kind of is the million dollar question of how do I get started? How do I actually get people to value what I'm doing with videography and photography? And how do I get them to pay me for it? And I don't think that there is like one right answer. There's not like one key shortcut to getting your first clients. But as I reflect back on how I got those first clients, I think that there are three things that come together that really helps me to get those first paid clients and that really catapulted me forward in this in this industry. But but let me let me kind of draw this out for you. All right, so a classic Venn diagram. So these are the three areas, as I reflect, these are the three areas that combine together to be able to give you the best chance to get your first paid clients. And that is a portfolio, first and foremost, you have to have a little bit of work. You have to have something to show people that you can do. And then second is leveraging your immediate network, the people that you already know, people that already trust you as a person, even not in the space, but just trust you as a human. And then third is just talking about what you're doing. But if you only do one of these or say two of these, you're not setting yourself up for optimal success of getting those clients. And again, that's the key to coming in here and combining all three of these so that you can be successful in getting those first clients. Because if you only talk about what you do, but there's not a portfolio to back it up, then your talk is pretty much cheap. If you're not relying on the relationships that you already have and the people that already trust you, then it's gonna be very difficult to get strangers to buy from you. And if you only have a portfolio, but you're not showcasing it, you're not talking about it, you're not sharing it with your immediate network, then what is the, what's the importance, what's the purpose of having that portfolio? The thing is, is that there's not a magic formula here. There's not a specific thing that I could tell you, you do this first, do this second, do this third, do this fourth, and you're gonna start making thousands of dollars doing the creative work that you love. And while there's not a magic formula, as I've reflected over the last year, and then really over the last few weeks, as people have been asking me this, this has come to mind, these three areas have always come to mind as I've reflected back on how I was able to start getting paid clients. These three things, again, it's not a formula, but it's three areas of your life, it's three areas of the work that you're doing right now that you can really focus in on intentionally and start to see some success. Now, if you were to ask me where within this should I start, I would definitely say portfolio because the thing is, you don't have anything to talk about if there's not a portfolio, there's nothing to share with your network, again, if there's no work to have and work to show. So you've gotta start with your portfolio first, you've gotta get creative in terms of creating things, tangible things that you can share with your network that you can be talking about with them Otherwise, you're just talking and telling people hypotheticals of like what you want to do, and that's not going to lead to any sales at all. And you don't have to have a lot of work in your portfolio to start talking about it, to start sharing it with your network. You don't have to have like 10 pieces, 10 photo galleries or 10 videos to show to your network to start selling yourself. You can literally get started with like one photo gallery with one video. That's that's really how I got started in the very beginning was I had one video. That, that first video that I did, that was a wedding film. And I wasn't planning on becoming a wedding videographer. There was a guy that I had done just some very simple video projects with, nothing paid. He was several steps ahead of me. He invited me to come second shoot that wedding with him. And, that, and having done that wedding, that led to me booking two weddings several weeks after that. And once I booked those next two weddings and I did those, it was kind of like I was off to the races. So it's something like that, like building your portfolio, again, can just be one item, just one thing that you need to share with your network. And what I did in that moment was after I filmed that wedding, I didn't even edit it, I second shot it. After my buddy edited it and put it together, I just shared that on Facebook. This was 2014. So I shared that on Facebook. A lot of people saw it. And I got people who asked me, hey, are you getting into doing weddings? Would you be willing to do our upcoming wedding? I was fresh out of college, so I knew a lot of people who were getting married. 
And that's how I got my first portfolio piece. So I really encourage you, don't overthink the portfolio. Uh, that's where a lot of people get stuck is they overthink like, what do I need to be creating? What do I need to be producing? What are people gonna be interested in seeing? Don't overthink it. If you get invited to go do a wedding and you, you haven't ever thought about weddings, go film that wedding. If you get invited to go film or photograph an event, go do that. If there's a family that wants you to take their portraits, go do a family portrait session. And that, once you share that, again, you've, you've got a portfolio piece all of a sudden, you share that with your network, you're talking about that work that you did with your network, all of a sudden, let's say 10 people in your network who trust you, mention that to 10 people that trust them, all of a sudden you're looking at 100 people who have some trust in the game and who are a lot more willing to trust you than a stranger, all of a sudden that one portfolio piece can lead to several other opportunities just like that. And that's why those three areas are not magic bullets by any means, but those three areas combined really start to get the momentum going and start to push that snowball down the mountain and all of a sudden things are happening. So yeah, I hope that is an encouragement to you that those are three areas when combined together that will lead to success into getting your first paid clients. And if there's a starting point within all that that you need to focus on, it's that portfolio and getting a portfolio piece. And then the magical thing that happens is once you have a portfolio piece, then you can talk about it and then you can share it with your immediate network. You can share it on social media or when you're in conversations with people, I would even pull out my phone because I had videos saved to my phone, the videos that I had done and I would share those right then and there or share a portion of it just to give people a glimpse of the work that I was doing. And by doing that, I got more people interested and once I got more people interested, then yes, I had a few people out of a, out of a larger group. I had a few people who were definitely interested in trading a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred of their dollars for my video work. And then pretty soon after that, you know, maybe another year after that, then I had people willing to trade thousands of their dollars for, for my video work. So yeah, those three areas. Start with your portfolio, then you have something to talk about. You can share that with your immediate network, people who trust you. And all of a sudden, people are going to start paying attention start wanting to hire you, and then you would just continue to rinse and repeat that cycle, build your portfolio more, talk more, your network starts to grow, you start doing good work for people, and they notice it, and they start sharing it with their friends or with their colleagues, and all of a sudden your referral base increases, and you don't have to do any marketing, you don't really have to do a lot of sales at that point, and things just start to grow and grow and amass from there. All right, if you're wondering anything else or if you have additional questions, drop those in the comments below and I would love to address those as best as I can. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed and want to subscribe and see more content like this, come along on this journey with me and hear more from my previous journey as well, then I would love for you to be a part of this community and subscribe and join and jump on in. All right, y'all. I will see you all, whoa, overexposed. I will see you all on the next video.